Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a haul. I don't think I've ever done a shopping haul. But today I went shopping and I kind of went a little bit crazy. I haven't done shopping like this since I was younger. Back in the day when I was reckless with my money, I used to work at a coffee shop and get tips. I had very low rent before I got this apartment. I had money to spend. So I would go to the makeup store or just to Ross, my favorite store, and I would just buy like $300 worth of stuff. And as an adult, I never really do that. But today, whew, I spent a lot of money. So let's get into this haul. I went to three different stores. I went to Marshalls, I went to Sephora, and then I went to JCPenney. So I'm gonna start by showing you what I got at Marshalls. At Marshalls, I spent a total of 129 with 41 cents. It's a lot, but I did get a lot of stuff. But a lot of the things that I bought is workout clothes. I know I had made a video earlier this year of how I was gonna start losing weight. I haven't lost any weight since then. I did lose a few pounds for like a month and I went back to my old habits. So it is September, October, November, December. Three months until the end of the year and I don't want to feel like a complete failure. So I'm gonna start working out. Probably not the best time because of the air quality but it is what it is. A lot of my workout clothes, especially my shirts, not my leggings but my shirts, don't fit because I was super lean when I was running so I got more so I have no excuses so let's get into this haul enough talking first thing I got is this black workout shirt and it's a Reebok shirt and then it has this kind of mesh in the back see that so this one was $9.99 got another workout shirt which is also a Reebok and I went ahead and I grabbed myself some larges and some extra larges. When I work out, I want to be comfortable. I don't want to be wearing restrictive clothes where I just feel uncomfortable and I get discouraged. So I want to be comfortable, so I went a little big on the shirt size. This one was $7.99. Another workout shirt. And it looks like this. The back, it has like a little nod. You can see your back. I also got this one in extra large. And it's just like a regular black... Um, Reebok. Oh no, this one's not Reebok. This one's Under Armour? Yeah, this is Under Armour and supposedly original price $25, but I got this for $12.99. You always want to have a good black shirt, especially since I have a lot of colored leggings. I'm wearing just a regular black shirt with colored leggings. Guess what else? Another workout shirt. So this one's another Reebok and it's just a plain v-neck. Um, black shirt and I got this in size extra large like I said want to be comfy this one I paid $7.99 I also went ahead and got myself um, more sports bras um, I do have a good amount of sport bras but some of the sport bras are feeling tight on me so I decided to get um, more so I'm comfortable when I'm working out this one came with two and I paid $14.99 this is the only pair of like leggings um it's a fitted high rise kind of biker shorts vibe this one is a reebok and i paid 12.99 for this one um but yeah and it comes with the pockets the side pockets which i love i can't wear leggings without pockets now once you have pockets you can never go back this shirt I got, but this one's not a workout shirt. This one's just like a regular black shirt. It's like a round deep neck. This one was $9.99. I also got myself this PJ set. So it comes with shorts. So it's been really hot and a tank. It's super soft. This was $9.99. I got two more things from Marshalls. I got this Perfect Salon eyelash glue. The eyelash glue was $3.99 and this one was such a fine. So this one is the Super Goop, the Setting Mist Broad Spectrum SPF 50 and I paid $12.99. So I've been looking into getting a sunscreen that I can spray on so I can reapply because I never reapply. Raise your hand if you don't reapply. <laughs> Should we try it on camera? Mm. 
It smells like mint. The next items I got from JCPenney. Initially, I went shopping to Sephora and I ended up going to other stores and spending more money than I planned. So I went to JCPenney and I got four item, five items. I got five items um, and my total was $46.87. A lot of those items were on sale. Got more shirts that I can, you know, use around the house, go work out or whatever. So I got this tank top situation and it has like this cross front. The next shirt, I got this shirt in two colors. They were on sale. This one was um, $8. So it's this kind of basic shirt. I got this in a large because the shirts look pretty loose. I also got that same shirt in this color. This one's like super bright. You see that? And then this shirt, I think I paid the most for this shirt. This one was $15 compared to the other ones, but I really liked it. It's a regular black shirt. And I got this one in extra large. And it has the same type of design in the front where it crosses. I did buy a lot of shirts. I can't complain that I don't have shirts to work out. No excuses. And some of these shirts I'm probably going to wear like out and about, not only for working out. Especially the black shirts. I love black shirts. A lot of my shirts also have holes. Does this happen to you guys? Your jeans, your zipper pokes a hole through your shirt? Does that only happen to me? Let me know down in the comment section. It always happens. The trick to that, if that happens to you, is I put tape on the little zipper so it's not sharp and it doesn't poke a hole. All my new shirts don't have holes. If you have a problem, put some tape on it. It works, trust me. So I'm excited for these shirts. They're not gonna have holes, hopefully. One last thing that I got at JCPenney is a jewelry piece. The stone is an authentic stone and it's a 18 karat, what is it? Is it 18 karat rose gold? So let me show you a picture. The reason why I don't have it with me is because they are gonna size it. it usually takes around three weeks, but since the whole quarantine and everything, it's gonna take longer. So it's gonna take six weeks until I get my ring, but I'm super excited. Next up, I went to Sephora. I only went in there for one thing, ended up getting two things. Foundation, because I ran out. I wore the Smashbox Studio Skin 24 Hour Wear Hydrating Foundation, and I wear um, the Medium Dark. And it's my number, so it's the four, number four. I initially went shopping for this, and then I ended up buying all these other items. But it's all right. I deserve it. I work hard. Ah! I got a bronzer, and I just mashed it. I could hear it. The powder's already coming out, and I'm going to return it. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe I just dropped it like an idiot. Okay, this one is the Sephora bronzer and it's the matte bronze Sephora brand in color six. I got those two items, but now I just have one. That is everything I got today. I spent a total of $311. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any future videos and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye guys. Fall in love